Welcome to Get the Facts, the program that provides you with information on government's policies and initiatives. I'm your host, Enthros Campbell. On the program today, we are looking at the standardization of products and services, as well as processes and practices. The agency tasked with this responsibility is the Bureau of Standards Jamaica, the BSJ. On set with me is Executive Director Hopeton Heron. Sir, welcome to the program. Thank you, Ms. Calvin. So good to have you. I'm glad to be here. All right, so the BSJ is celebrating 50 years. Indeed. Yes, we're going to be talking about that a little okay. later. But before, tell me about your functions, your role and functions have changed yes. a little bit. Tell us about that. Indeed. Um, in the beginning, there was the Jamaica Bureau of Standards. Over the years, the Bureau has changed to conform to global trends which tries to establish a national quality infrastructure. So our accreditation body came out and it became JANAC. Then our certification body came out and it became the National Certification Body of Jamaica. Um, then recent times, to, um, 2016, the National Regulatory and Compliance Body, yes. or, or the NCRA, yes was formed. So th those four organizations now form the national quality infrastructure. It conforms to the national quality policy that was tabled in the house yes. uh, two months ago. Yes. So then what then is the BSJ doing? Okay, yes. so the BSJ is left with standardization. Uh, so it deals with standardization, metrology, and conformity assessments. Yes. Uh, yes. me meaning, conformity assessments meaning testing, calibration, uh, and we do training. Yes. So we prepare industry, industry players, to have standard products, products that are good for local and international markets. So when the world looks at Jamaica, they see that it has a national quality infrastructure, it has accreditation, it has certification, the regulatory harm is well, well, up and running, we have standardization, we have metrology, and we have testing. All right, so talk to me about your role in standardization, because I know that you don't go on and, te uh, and test and so on anymore, do you? Well, we come to that. Tell me about your role in standardization. Well, for standardization, you want to develop pro products that are going to be used by the, by the market. So the, the request for standardization comes from the users of, the, of products. We also look at internationally to see what products are going. And for products where their standards have been developed, you really adopt those standards if it can conform to Jamaican conditions. If it cannot conform to Jamaican conditions, we adapt it, meaning we put yes. some Jamaican application codes into yes, it, yes. So that it so that it works. And for products that are just Jamaican, we develop the standards. So for standard development, we, we try to get a very wide-based stakeholder representation. So we form what is called a technical committee, which has on it technical persons, the common man, academia, and all the other science and technology and business uh, representative mm -hmm. on that technical committee. And they deliberate and come up with a standard, which is outlined, the format for the standards is outlined. Once the standard is developed, it goes out as a draft for consultation. And we, again, listen to our stakeholders to refine it. When it gets back to some final stage, then it goes for the, the approval process, which goes to the standards council, the ministry, get gazetted, and then it becomes a standard that you can get from the or Technical Information Center, the TIC. Right. So we no longer come to you if we, if we encounter like some blocks that are not, um, that are not doing what they're supposed to do or catch up that is too runny. We don't come to you about those issues anymore. You can come to us, but the, the agency that is set up to deal with these things is the compliance and regulatory agency. This is a national compliance and regulatory authority actually. Um, they, they are set up, they are still on the property, they have a different address, but they are still on the property. Of the, it was actually removing the regulatory division 
of the BSJ okay. into that division, right? right. So, so this company now, or branch or agency, yeah. authority, authority yes. is, uh, does all the regulatory work. All the regulatory yes. and compliance work. So they will do the sampling from the shelf. They will take it in for testing. They will get the results from our labs and they yes. will take the regulatory action yes. that is necessary. So, you and know, we all, we, we, Jamaica still thinks that you go out and do all these testing. Indeed. Yes. So yes. we are trying to get that message out that, in fact, the regulatory and compliance arm is now quite different from the Bureau of Standards because we now focus on standard development, yes. we focus on training, we focus on testing and compliance, and we have a client services program where yes. we invite entrepreneurs, manufacturers, exporters to come into our doors. If you are developing a product and you want some chemical tests done, some microbiology tests done, some weights and measures tests done, some mass tests done, you can get that kind of service through our client service yes. program. Yes. And if you, you need to use a standard, we can guide you into the appropriate standard that is good for your product development. So that when you are have completed your project, product, your product is good for local trade, your product is good for international trade, and you have you won't have much problem in getting into markets because yes. it would have uh, yes. conformed to World Trade Organization yes. rules, it would have conformed to ISO rules, ASTM rules, that's a standard body yes. um, that, that is internationally recognized. And so so we are well intertwined with, with yes. all of these organizations. Yes. Yes. We we converse regularly to keep abreast with standard development yes. Yes. globally. Good. So let's, take, let's talk some more about the ISO, as you mentioned just now, right. when we come back. But we're going to take a break now, and we come right back with more discussions. Understand. Productivity is the way to go for all us Jamaicans. Small business, big business, old and young, we are telling every woman and man. We want growth and prosperity for your better nation with a building plan. So we can build our product and sell our product and put more money in our hand. Our economy can rise to a level and build a better nation. Productivity to move forward on this land. Productivity, that's the way to go, we should understand. Productivity. Productivity, Pathway to Prosperity, a message brought to you by the Jamaica Productivity Center, a department of the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. Welcome back to Get the Facts. Mm -hmm. We continue our discussion with Executive Director Hofton Heron. He's from the Bureau of Standards, Jamaica, the BSJ. No, before the break, we were talking about ISO, International Standards Organization. Mm -hmm. What is the relationship between yourself and ISO? Well, ISO is an international standards organization. They have member state, member countries all across the world. They, are, they develop standards. That's their role. They develop standards. And they make these standards available to member states and, of course, whoever requires right. these standards. Right. Right. Now, what the BSJ has done, as you, they, we have used these standards to make offerings of training in the particular standards yes. developed by ISO. Right. So it's our portal, but we, yes. we use the ISO okay. um, standards okay. for training. Tell me a little bit more about the training that BSJ does. Um, we, we do a lot of training in food safety, yes. in good manufacturing practice, in quality assurance, in calibration of um, service industries, and sanitation and pest control. Yes. So those kind of training can be got from the Bureau. We have established our, our quality institute, is what we call our training platform, yes. where people can enter our facilities and get training. How does one access the training and who can access the training? Anybody from industry can, and you can come into our offices, you could send through our website, yes, through yes. our social media, in whatever way you access the Bureau, 
we could direct you to the training. Yes. Right? Talk to us now about your, your support to businesses with, as it relates to product development. Yes, we have established this client services window that um, if you are developing a product and you, you need to understand what are the components in it, you can approach the Bureau to do chemical testing for you, microbiological testing for you. You can um, get familiar with the labeling standards, the packaging standards, or the, the, the weights and measures to, to ensure that when you put a particular weight on your product, it is actually the, the, the weight because we can facilitate you to, to verify right. that. So, so we use our laboratories to facilitate that kind of product development. Right. So as it relates to labeling, would you like to teach people or show people or, or train people to, as it relates to how to label the products? In, indeed, indeed. Yes. And the, the, the information, the minimum information and the maximum, well, yes. mi more minimum information that needs to be on yes. the labels. And this is to meet a standard. In other words, the, the standard is declares yes. what are the minimum yes. standards for labeling. Yes, because you know sometimes we go to supermarkets and we see some products you can't really label them in different languages yes, and, right. so, and that's, that's something you used to do but you no longer do that, right? Um, well, what would happen is if the product does not meet the standards as, as outlined in the standard, the regulator, which is now the yes. NCRA, yes. is obliged to remove such a product. But yes. they will talk to this more than I can, they are the regulators. Yes. 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 But that, that system is in place. Right. And what about pharmaceutical and aviation Sim and so on? Yes. Similar. Similar. S similar. All right. right. Okay, great. The BSJ is celebrating 50 years mm -hmm. of service mm -hmm. to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Tell me about some of your milestones. Yeah. Okay, the B BSJ started out as the Jamaica Bureau of Standards. Over the 50 years, we have really evolved into four organizations. And these four organizations conforms to what the WTO recognizes as a national quality infrastructure. So whereas we used to do everything, you now we have an accreditation body that is independent, does its own thing. We have a certification body that um, trains um, institutions and organizations quality, uh, quality, and then there is a national compliance and regulatory authority, which is a regulatory arm that used to be the, the regulatory division yes. of the Jamaica Bureau yes. of Standards. Yes. Now, the BSJ has been left with the uh, development of standards, the Metrology Institute, which is um, the conformity assessments, which is the labs for, for testing, chemical testing, microbiological testing, with mass. Volume. Yes. Does that make you more efficient? In, indeed, because yes. um, what has happened is that the services, the corporate services, is still shared by all the entities, yes. maybe except Janak. Um, they, they, they all share common finance, HR, um, communication, yes. and IT services yes. so, so that uh, overhead for housing the Jamaica Bureau yes. of Standards would still be there. Yes. And, and we are now focusing on the specialized yes. areas. Right. So that is very good efficiency. So you're not, say, a parent company? No, no, not no, at all. They are yeah, their they are, they are, they are yes, own entity. Yes. Yeah. So what are you doing to celebrate this 50 years of service? Well, quite a number of things. On the 15th of July, we, we launch our 50th anniversary activities. And there are a number of things planned for the 50 years, but I do want to focus you on uh, uh, initiative we are taking. We are, we are launching internship programs for, for five students representing five, decades. Decade, five yeah. decades, right? Yes. These interns will come into our, into our business and will be assigned to science and technology division, the standards division, the metrology division, and we'll um, learn the ways of the Bureau because it is a very specialized area, yes. and the more we can build capacity in Jamaica, the better we off yes. we will be. So we are, that is one aspect of the 50 years. Yes, and these are tertiary level students. Tertiary level students yes, who, yes. Will be, who will be interned. Yes, at yes. All, at and all. Um, the information is already out? The information will, uh, is out, um, it will be repeated, yes, you know, it will yes. be communicated, yes. and I'm sure a very fair 
way of choosing these students yes, will be established. Right, yes. Yes, so, yes. So, so five students are going to be able to do internship at the BSJ. Yes. And we'll hear more about Both. that. Yes. Yes. Um, so BSJ used to be, a, in my eyes, a mm. consumer-oriented mm. entity. Yeah. Where are we do we fall in all of this now? We are, I wouldn't want to say more so, because it mean that maybe we were not. We are just as much consumer-oriented as we are, because okay. we are ensuring that the consumer gets the best product, the best standard. Um, in other words, we are setting the standards, and we are setting the quality criteria that the, that the products that goes out will meet the, the customer's needs. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. So, so we remain very customer-focused, we listen to our customers. Our customers are on our technical committees that write the standards uh, so that they benefit from any quality we put in. Congratulations on your 50th year. Thank you very and much. Best wishes for another 50. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Good, good. This has been Get the Facts with our guest, Hopeton Heron, Executive Director of the Bureau of Standards Jamaica. To watch this program again, log on to our social media handle, YouTube forward slash watch GIS, and stay connected via our website at gis.gov.jm. Until next time, I am Enthros Campbell. Take good care. Mm -hmm.